on my journey to film the lights, I may face temperatures as low as minus 30. So Petri wants to teach me how this Sami camp in these extreme conditions. So first we take this one. Mm -hmm. Take it. I got it. It's pretty tall. So how many people could sleep in a lavoo of this size? Uh, they can sleep five people inside. This teepee style tent is called a lavu. For over a thousand years, this simple shelter has helped the Sami survive in the Arctic. When it was first, it was just two sticks. It was a bit wobbly, or quite wobbly, and then the third one, it's a little bit wobbly, but with every additional stick, you see you get this really stable, stable structure. There's more to add. The Sami leave lavu poles at waypoints across the tundra. This is great. So all I'll need to carry with me on my journey is a canvas covering. It's amazing how quickly the whole lavu heats up. My trousers are getting nice and dry here. It's steaming. It might be approaching minus 20 outside, but thanks to the fire, I'm feeling very cosy. But as I'm getting comfortable, Petri introduces me to a slightly unsettling Sammy snack. What do you think if I make uh, blood pancakes? Blood pancakes? Yeah. So it's reindeer blood? Yeah. Is your blood in the flask? Yes. A flask of blood. I'm glad that I, I didn't pick this up and <laughs> think, oh, a nice mug of coffee and it's reindeer blood. <laughs> It might seem odd to us, but over thousands of years, the Sami have learnt to use every part of a reindeer. They value and respect these animals so much, nothing is wasted. Here you are. Thank you. Whoa. Mmm. I think I was expecting the flavour to be much, much stronger. Mm. But it's very mild, but kind of good winter food. Yeah. I like it a lot. The only thing that's putting me off is reindeer walking about outside as I'm eating a reindeer blood pancake. Remember, reindeer, they are not like a pet. They are here in the nature where they belong. They are free and happy. What about the pigs and cows? They stay inside all their life. There is no room to yeah. moving. Reindeer is here yeah. in the forest where it belongs. For the Sami, reindeer are a vital source of nutrients over the harsh winter months. That evening, Petri and his family invite me to a traditional welcome dinner. I have a strong suspicion about what will be on the menu. So welcome and tervöydeksi. Thank you so much. Oh it's so nice to be here. Thank you. Petri's wife, Kirsi, and his two sons, Pietu and Penjami, are dressed in the Sami outfits that their family have worn for generations. And yes, we're eating reindeer. This time it's salted and served with potatoes a traditional festive meal. This is very nice. Do you want it? Mm. And, uh, Please. Yeah. Do you think either of the boys will be reindeer herders when they grow up? Hilku. <laughs> yes. He says yes. Maybe, says he. Okay, that's good. They can make their own choice when they grow up. But this is that kind of job. Is you must come in your heart because it's hard job, everyday job in the winter. And you know you'll never be a millionaire. <laughs> but we see. But I suppose yeah. that's part of living in a beautiful part of the world. Yeah. Why would you live in somewhere that is quite so difficult if you didn't, if you yeah. didn't love it? Yeah, people ask, did you wa never want to live in big cities? And I say, no, too many people yeah. for me. This is arguably one of the best places in the world to see Northern Lights. Yeah. So the boys have grown up with that just a part of their life. Mm. Did, did you ever sort of, get, was there ever a point that you explained what they were or did you kind of tell them the, the, the folklore of, of the Northern Lights? 
Actually, the uh, Sami people have traditionally lots of um, t uh, stories about the Northern Lights. For example, um, they think that they are caused by a firefox or, or with the tail of it when it's running on the top of the hills and uh, it's wiping the skies. It's great to learn more about Sami culture, a way of life that is over 4,000 years old. Thank you.